How toxic really is malachite, the copper-based green mineral that everybody loves, but for some reason, a handful of people have decided to fear? I've certainly worked around minerals for long enough to make a casual observation that certain pieces of dogma, true or otherwise, gather pace within crystal forums and then snowball and crescendo into the realm of the absurd as the hyperbole gathers more and more and more and more and more intensity until it reaches this fever pitch where people actually become afraid of things that in a relative sense are actually pretty benign. Is malachite toxic? Short answer, yes. Do you need to be afraid of it? Short answer, no. Malachite is a copper-based mineral, so yes, roughly 50% of its composition is copper. Is copper the kind of thing that you want inside your body? No. The solution is, don't put it inside your body. Yes, full disclosure, if you're a lapidary and you're working with malachite, it will kick up dust. If you breathe this in, this can not only be quite unpleasant, but very dangerous. If it ends up inside you, it can cause breathing difficulty, which can end up manifesting as various different forms of discomfort, pain, bloody diarrhea, and then potentially even death because it is a carcinogen. However, you can insulate yourself from this unfortunate consequence by merely not becoming a lapidary, or if you are one already, put a mask on, wear appropriate PPE. So yes, there are certain criteria and certain circumstances in which malachite could be harmful to your health. However, your average person, the average end user of malachite, is not really subject to these circumstances or these criteria, and you can insulate yourself from the potential insidious qualities of malachite merely by not eating it, or licking a malachite lollipop, which will of course cause you problems, but if you're doing either of these things, let's be honest, you already have problems. And I know, and am emotionally prepared for the inevitable Jen Jones type character who will casually slide herself unlubricated into the comment section and say, You shouldn't wear malachite jewellery, it's bad for the skin. However, what I think is very important to draw to the attention of these naysayers is that should malachite start to irritate your skin, and full disclosure, in about seven years of working around the material, I've never known this to happen even once, but let's say hypothetically it does, what you do is you stand up, you reach behind your head, you unclasp the pendant, and then you take it off. This is not North Korea. No one is forcing you to wear this thing. You can remove it. It's a very personal choice. Yes, of course. If you want to be proactive about insulating yourself from the potential insidious qualities of malachite, if you're handling it in rough or polished form for any period of time, perhaps consider washing your hands. But do you need to be losing any sleep about the potential toxicity of malachite? No, not unless you're eating it, which none of you are. I mean, rule one, don't lick it. Rule two, don't eat it. Rule three, don't sniff it. So unless you're doing lines of it on a Friday night, I wouldn't lose much sleep. So politely, on forums across the internet, can we please stop worrying about it?